The ring in boxing is an atavism from when contests were first fought in a roughly drawn circle in the ground. The first square ring was introduced by the Pugilistic Society in 1838. Meet Johnny Flores, master builder of the modern day square circle. I'm the only guy with portable boxing rings. There's 39 different gyms in LA County. And I, I, I built all of those. And, uh, but they, they leave them in a the gym. So, uh, but I'm, I'm the only guy ready to go now. You call me right now, the ring will be there in an hour. Yeah, it's, it's on both. So what, you know what we'll do? This is a 20 Hey, that, that, that's the only part to mark. Yeah, that's the only thing that matters. Yep. Exactly. Okay. You can come out this way. And open the door, please. Oh, man. This place is murder with these uh, little 40 steps. Oh, you counted them, huh? Well, hell yeah, man. Up and down. <laughs> 80. <laughs> and then they got to carry those 100-pound those, uh, boards. And that ain't cool. See, this, this whole ring is held together with, with 12 little bolts like this. Finger tight, no tools. Thing. My father invented this idea, these plates, and uh, nobody else can put up a ring faster than us. And there's only three, three companies that make boxing rings. Me, Everlast, and Ringside. And Everlast makes one that, this ring, a 20 footer, weighs 4,000 pounds. Takes six guys, six hours to put together. Ringside is a piece of junk. Takes six hours, six guys to put it together. The two ends molded, you pick up the plate, Pick up the frame, locks it. Well, they, they, they marked it for a bigger ring. We, we've done it four times here and we use the same ring and they still keep putting them out for a 24 foot ring. But it's all right. We know what's what. Who's who in the zoo, huh? Yeah, we're shooting it. We're starting a movie uh, in two weeks. They want to copy the, the, the million dollar baby gym. And uh, I bought them back after I sold them the rings. I bought the rings back. So they're, they're in storage, so all we gotta do is take them out of storage, put them on the set, 3,500 bucks. Hell yeah, man, pays the bills. I, I could, you know, but uh, then they go, if it gets too much, then they go shopping. Originally, I was born in Compton, Compton, California, raised in uh, San Fernando Valley. Went to Pierce College and Got married and then I started to work. I'm married four times and divorced. Divorced three. I'm the fighter and I used to fight for my dad. My dad had a gym. We had a big barn in the back. And that's where Jerry Quarry, Bobby Chacon, and Ruben Navarro came from. They all champions or title contenders. My dad was a matchmaker too. And he did Cassius Clay's first pro fight at the sports arena for Joe Lewis Promotions. Now, all they want to see is that ring. They want to see it up. They get away from me. They leave me alone. I said, yeah, you guys go out and have a beer. You know, leave us alone. We'll set it up right on the marks, and that's it. And they come back and say, beautiful, you know? I said, where's the dough, you know? I work on one term, C-O-D. Nope, we don't carry no accounts, and we don't talk no bullshit. There's an invention here. These beams lock into place without any bolts. Just drop in. It'll hold 20 people. Well, you see after the fight, like a title fight, all this gang of people jump in. Mothers, daughters, grandfathers, grandmothers, and, and publicity guys, and all that stuff, and cameras, and all that. 20 people, so you're talking like four tons. 
We have a pro wrestling ring that we rent out. We did Spider-Man on it. We did Daredevil with Ben Affleck. And we did uh, that beef jerky commercial that uh, Randy Savage does, uh, Slim Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, take, we took it all the way to Albuquerque, New Mexico. God, 800 miles. Where the wrestlers, it's a, see, they don't, they're not even sanctioned by the state because it's an exhibition. It's an exhibition. And they don't even give a damn what the ring's made out of or anything. They can do it in the backyard, you know? Old men don't, old men don't wrestle. And I did Rocky uh, three with him and, and uh, when he wrestled Stallone, he weighed 300 pounds then, and Stallone picked him up and threw him over the top rope. Yeah, Stallone looked like he was 90 years old, man. He was shaking and trying to pick him up. You know, so, so uh, Hulk Hogan, he jumped on Stallone and then jumped over the rope. That's the only way they could get him over the rope. <laughs> I think St Stallone had to go to his, his uh, it, no, to his, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the trailer where they, uh, where they take a nap or whatever and uh, get a massage from a couple of blondes, you know.